frightening trip for passengers on board one Southwest Airlines flight. They say all of a sudden the cabin lost pressure and before they knew it, they were making an emergency landing in Jacksonville. That flight was originally headed for Orlando. New 6 reporter Brittany Harris talked with one of those passengers who is now safe on the ground in Orlando after a nearly four hour delay. There was a time there when we had our masks on and uh, the turbulence got so bad that, you know, you can't help think that, you know, this could be it. Brandon Bauman still can't believe what happened during his Southwest flight from San Antonio to Orlando on Monday. He says while they were in the air, the plane lost pressure and they were forced to make an emergency landing in Jacksonville. These are some of the photos he took from his seat. The flight attendants remained to uh, walk through the cabin and make sure everyone was doing all right. and. Uh, it wasn't until a little bit uh, later on that the uh, captain came on over the, uh, the intercom and said that we were making uh, an emergency landing in Jacksonville. He says once they landed, they had to wait to transfer to another plane and finally made it back to Orlando four hours later. He says his family is relieved to be home, but still has a lot of questions. That was one of the things that, you know, really worried not just you know my family, but I think a lot of other people that were on that flight is, you know, they never they never got an answer of, of why the mask came down or what what caused the pressure to change so quickly. We reached out to Southwest Airlines to find out more about the situation and they told us no one was injured and that the aircraft had to land in Jacksonville to address a pressurization issue. They also went on to say flight 3556, which had departed San Antonio approximately 90 minutes late, ultimately arrived in Orlando approximately four hours behind schedule, a delay for which we apologize. The aircraft was taken out of service so mechanics on the ground could inspect it and make any necessary repairs. And we did try to ask Southwest why none of the passengers on board that flight were given some kind of refund or voucher, and they simply gave us the statement you saw in the story. In Oviedo, Brittany Harris, News 6.